I think it just came out of its cocoon. Its wings are all wet looking, droopy. I think he's crawling to this tree over here. See how wet his wings look, or its wings look? I think it's trying to make its way to this big tree. I think we're about to watch it crawl up here. I wish I'd have seen it earlier. It's about the right time of year. I like took my dog out for a walk as she came down here, started sniffing it. I do believe it just came out of its cocoon. Looks like it's starting to spread its wings i've never actually seen this i've just seen it on on shows before i come out of their cocoon and i just find a spot and i'll spread out their wings and sit there and dry off i don't know if it's going to get a little bigger or not it's kind of small for a luna moth Hey, pooch. Careful. 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 Could be a snake down there. Careful. I don't want her to actually try to show off to me. Come on, let's go. I'll leave it alone for a while. I'll come back. Come on, let's go. Let's go this way. Come on. Aha. Uh -huh. It did indeed. I thought that's where he was heading, or it was heading. It appeared to me to be on a straight line. I've seen shows before where they'll find a tree and spread out, and dry out. Looks like he damaged it damaged this way a little bit, but uh, looks like it's in good shape now. What do you think about that? Good luck, dude. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, I have things to do. Let's go inside, Pooch. So, we'll see. Come on, let's go inside. Go on. Let's go inside. Good job. We'll see if it's out here in an hour or two when I get back. Look at it. I wonder if it came out of its cocoon early. See how, oh, I guess it's got more than one wing on there. Um, it's a tad small for a Luna moth. I don't know if there's a difference between males and females, but uh, usually they're big, 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 big. Hopefully it's still there an hour or two, two hours later. The damage to its tail is not as bad as it looked at first. Now that it's drying out, that's a rather small Luna moth. I 
I'm positive it just came out of its cocoon somewhere. I'm not sure where they had their cocoons, I would assume up in a tree. I don't know if it fell out. Maybe it fell out of the tree. I originally saw it right here on this root. It was obviously on a direct line for the tree. <laughs> Coordinates built in. But uh I'll come back out here. I have a feeling it's gonna sit out here till late tonight. If I don't scare it. Drying out, dude. It's a nice breeze. Nice breeze blows up this little mountain here. Perfect spot. Perfect choice, dude. Oh no. I spooked him. Dang it. I didn't want to do that. Ah, shoot. Oh, they just squirted. I don't know if the camera caught that or not. It looked like it just squirted something out. It did squirt something out. I've never seen that before. Look at that. <clears throat> I've never seen a moth do that in my life. <laughs> I don't know if that's cocoon juice or what. But uh, it clearly, I wonder if I caught that on camera. It clearly just shot a little stream of juice. And he just took a poop. <laughs> I wonder if that's a defense. Hmm. Come on, dude. I just want you to get back on a tree. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I'll just leave it alone. That didn't work too well. There he is. It's, I keep calling it a he. <laughs> it's definitely a smaller one than I've seen in the past. Looks a lot stronger and crisper, doesn't it? When I first showed it on video, it was all just kind of damp, damp and weak and fragile looking. Luna moth action. It's not gonna get much better than that. If it wasn't for that little damage right there, that's the most picture perfect. Brand new, I still see a little wiggle. See that right there on the tip of his wing? Tip of its wing. This is kind of what the whole thing looked like at first, when I first saw it. I think it's got to dry out. A little more drying out, what do you think dude? Oh, you found a nice happy little home over here. Let's get this stick out of the way. One thing I learned a long time ago, like earlier I was trying to help him get back up on that tree. And one thing I learned about messing with nature a long time ago is generally just leave stuff alone <laughs> and just let it run its course. Generally when you try to interfere you're not helping whatsoever. So I've learned a long time ago. Just 
most situations, not, not all situations, but most situations, just leave stuff alone and it will take care of itself. Okay, trying to get his eye to glow. I can't see if the GoPro is picking that up or not. We've got moth eye glow, moth man action. It's not red, it's kind of a kind of a gold color. That's all right. We don't want moth man around here anyway, do we, Pooch? Oh, speaking of glowing eyes. not possible to get much better than that as far as luna moths i don't think they live very long so uh, have a nice time this early summer dude and have a nice life go do your thing <laughs> see your descendants next year who's this pooch <laughs> come here come here come here speaking of mothman eyes we got mothman eyes here she comes here she comes hi baby hey you know what there's actually, I think there's a wolf spider over in the tree. I was trying to get my dog, my, I'm trying to get my dog's eyes to shine, but uh, <laughs> oh, it might be tree sap. Never mind. <clears throat> Just snail. <laughs> I can't walk 20 feet without critters popping out all over the place. going on dude having a good night huh this tree's got a crack in it look at that sappy probably fall on my head one of these days <laughs> sappy action okay so we've got Clearly, we've got Ozark Summer kicking off. Huh? Yes, she is. She geeked out. Goodbye, everybody. It was nice to see you. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Let's go say.